Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Welcome to another Arcade vs Home Port. In this video I'll be taking a look at Strike Fighter in the arcades by Sega released in 1991 and comparing it to its home port on the Mega CD. Now I say Strike Fighter, here, here's where it gets kind of weird or odd. Um, Strike Fighter is a sequel to G-Lock that was released in Japan in 1991. As far as I know, by all means correct me if I'm wrong, it wasn't released in the West, which makes sense for the name change, but we'll get to that. So yeah, so Strike Fighter is a sequel to G-Lock. It's a sprite scaling, you know, in cockpit, air combat game, pretty much sort of, you know, in the, uh, in the feel of Afterburner. So, because it was never released in the West, when it was ported, it was also ported to the FM Towns uh, computer in Japan, then it was called renamed to Afterburner 3. Not sure why, they could have just called it Strike Fighter because it existed in Japan. But then it was also ported to the Mega CD where it was called Afterburner 3. Which makes sense because Afterburner 3 would be familiar to people that franchise if Strike Fighter never came out in the West. But as I said, it's kind of stupid because Strike Fighter is a sequel to G Lock, which is a separate game series than Afterburner. It's like they cost cross streams or something like that. But yeah, so let's get into it. I would have loved to play this back in the day in the arcade because I love all sprite skaters. So anyway, let's get into it. Money. Right. As far as I can tell, you've got missiles, cannons, uh, afterburner, and slowdown. No Scooby, see, it's a sprite scale, it looks lovely. No Scooby whatsoever, what that equates to playing it on a Xbox pad, but we'll, we'll get into it. Right. Here you go. Here's a picture of a random joystick. So I know it's my copy one. But hey. Boom. There we go. Starts off exterior. Am I right in thinking that your plane's polygonal? I don't know, but the rest is sprites. I don't know, I may have read that somewhere. Right, we're in the plane. There we go. Up, down. Accelerate. Falcons. See? It's just a sprite scaler. It's Afterburner. Well, you could argue there's a lot more uh, grand detail in Afterburner than there is in this, but... Right. So, it, it appears it slows down all by itself. It's a little bit too much to take in. There's my missile. Let's get some lock on these. Bogies. See what I did? Sweet! As always, it's just me, my the, the Navy could only afford all the army, I don't know, one plane against the enemy, but since I'm so badass, that's all you need. So imagine if you did actually get like a budget upgrade and you could have two. Um, I mean, fucking hell. Put him in the maze balls. You won the war. All wars, every war. Right. Is it just me and my flying above a cornfield? Oh, no, no. You can barrel roll, you do like you do an afterburner, it would appear. I've got no idea how I'm missing missiles. Oh, this means there's one on me. There we go, it's a bye. Yeah. Barrel roll while well, going full speed, because I am manly. And I just got blown up into manly bits. Right. You're a manly bit. Yeah, I would have loved this in the arcades back in the day. Think about it, they've been a moving catalog and they've been much bigger screen massive speakers. I'm not doing it justice, but yeah. It basically it's your standard sprite scaling quarter and or 10p gobbler, isn't it? It's not there to set any new standards and rules in gameplay. It's a sprite scaling on rail shooter. Look, clouds. Right. But we love this shit. I mean what do you want from an arcade game? You don't want to deep fucking, you know, change your life moving game experience. It's gonna cost you 15 quid and you have to type a screen of a RPG and all that crap. You want shit like this? At least I did in 1991 when I would have been 14. Yoink! Right, so isn't there a bit when we get to the desert and then there's kind of a boss thing? I'm not sure, but... Oh, it means I'm going down. No, I just showed... There you go, it likes to show you your death from outside. Convenient. Or does it just put you offline? Right. That's cool. 
I mean, there is, it is above afterburner, you know, the way it does the stuff on the floor. I mean, I would have liked a bit more of it. I mean, that's supposed to replicate a, uh, or represent, I should say, cityscape. Woo! Gorgeous! Let's just go really fast. There we go. Ooh. Some of them you can't blow up, I'm guessing. Well, you can blow him up, that worked quite well. Uh, it self centers, which I guess, you know, it, 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 well, it's analog, isn't it, in the arcade, so that's why it self centers. Listen to that chill, relaxed jazz. While I die for your viewing pleasure. Right. You know, it's petrol bins. Petrol bins? Tanks. Seizure game, just saying. There we go. Oh, so that that's polygons, isn't it? I've got a missile on my ass. Just go really fast. That's what we do. It's the funky jazz. Electro jazz. There you go, I lost him. That music is something else. Right, let's have a look at the Mega CD version. So, let's be honest, even in 1991, there's capable at scaling sprites as the Mega CD or Sega CD, you know, whatever tickets you fancy, was. I think it's safe to say this will be punching above its weight. But that remains to be seen. Or well, it doesn't really, because I've got a gameplay of it before. But this is a comparison video, so let's jump to the Mega CD version, albeit after bonus 3. So here we go, Afterburner 3 on the Sega Mega CD, released by Sega, but developed by CRI in 1992. Listen to this. The F-14 Tomcat. Obviously they're trying to very much set it in the Afterburner world, I guess. You'll need every ounce of firepower this plane can offer for your current mission. Thanks for that. It's cheesy as hell, but I do like this stuff. And it's obviously very Mega CD-ish. Job. Yeah, I've got a flight that doesn't blow up people, but listen to this. Oh, okay. Just you and your F-14. Yeah. With a good pilot, it's holy terror. With you, it should be unstoppable. Yep, that's a cheese fest. I love it. Not so much what's coming up next. Watch this. I mean, it's a mega CD game. Hmm. Not really the locker, is it? Surely it could have gone better than that. Surely, surely, surely. But I do like the fact that it's clearly letting you know that it exists within the Afterburner world because, well, that's what it is in, you know, well, the West because obviously it wasn't released. Uh, well, the arcade game Strike Fighter wasn't released, but it clearly is Strike Fighter, but in Afterburner 3 form, hence the title. So it plays the same. Afterburner, let your finger off. Afterburner, you slow down Vulcan and um, missiles. Missiles lock on. Basically, uh, you get a lock on behind you. The camera comes out of the plane um, and into, you know, third person mode, and then you have to avoid it. There you go. That's cool. That's really cool. So I was going to say, let's put some. Oh, apparently, we're on a rail crossing. Who knew? But yeah. So this is this is the demo, right? But well, there you go. Let's, hello, I keep. I said let's put some money in, but whoa, oh, that was awkward. It really is emulating a perfect CD game. It's got the stutters and everything. But yeah, I was gonna say let's put some money in. I completely forgot I was playing the home ball. But yeah, after Burner Three, Sega nineteen ninety one, six button pad. Thanks for letting me know that. It's got delays, mine. So it is a mega CD game, right? Anyway. I am pressing start button. Hello? Awkward! Let's try that again. There we go. Right, that was entirely on me, my bad. Right. Uh, easy, because I'm pussy. Right, Vulcan, missile, afterburner, uh, speed down, um, direction, normal view, cockpit. So obviously these are all uh, options over the arcade, as you would expect. Exit. Skip to the end. Look how many different title screens there are. That's kind of cool. I mean, if you had this uh, back in the day on Mega CD or Sega CD, what did you think? And what's competition? Uh, time. Oh, yeah, it's got extra options as well. Oh, and did it come out? I mean, did the arcade machine make it to the West? Is that just a common misconception of me digging around on Tinterwebs to see what's going on? Anyway, get ready. Thanks. There we go. Speed down, afterburner missile, Vulcan gun, press that button. 
Right, that's cool. Fly up ahead, I want to see if this is polygonal. I'm going to assume it's been done with sprites. Oh, there we go, same as the arcade, awkward battle star galactica joystick. Good luck, thanks. Do we not get to see it? Well, that looks exactly like the arcade, right? Missile, machine gun, accelerate. All your score and stuff is at the top of the screen again. Uh, it's different music, it's a different soundtrack. I guess that's tailored to the west to be more top gunny. Gunny? Is that the phrase? But yeah. So yes, it's just a sprite scaler. Obviously the floor has taken a massive hit. That's to be expected. Although, is it? My understanding was when you play games like Batman, uh, that it could do this and to that. I'm in an episode of 90210, the original series. Um, yeah, it could do a lot better than that, but maybe that's to keep the number of sprites on the screen stage too. Screen that, right. There we go, barrel roll. That music is awful. My awful one is fucking fantastic. I mean, now I probably our high school prom. Oh, boom! Accurate, accurate. I do like that. That's clearly, whether they've just nicked it and it's not actually polygonal circular, it isn't, is it? Um, it's just it's scaling or an animation thing. But then I might be wrong. I'm sure it was uh, on a Sega or floor and they said that the plane on the, the arcade at least is done with you know, the 3D. Great. Probably because I've said it's 3D, but. Oh, hang on. There we go. Tra Don't go on the rail track, kids. Oh, it's easy to lose. Yeah, uh, except for he left it on normal. Actually, you can see that when the missiles come towards you, that's taking a massive hit as well. Got bullet hole, bullet holes or speed holes that make things go faster. I guess what show I stole that from. I would have been well happy with this back in the day, if my brother actually let me play it on his Mega CD. But, yeah. The one thing I will say is, and I'm basing this on Sonic CD when you have the bonus stages, but that bit from the arcade where it kind of had this Mode 7 effect going on the floor to represent like a cityscape, surely this could have done it. But then you're probably all familiar with the limitations of this machine more so than I am. But, right. Let's go really fast. There you go. Can, can I crash? Oh, I want to see if I can black out. Right, so you go really fast. Oh! And ultimately exactly the same thing happened. So basically it's the afterburner only affected when you're being followed by a bogey. That's what it Oh listen to that! Oh that's cool. Oh that's not so cool. My manly bits are everywhere. I gotta say. Obviously it's taken a hit compared to the arcade. I'm going really slow so you can see it. Now I'm going really fast. But I'm actually quite impressed at how big those sprites are. I don't know why it should be, because like, you know, it was a helicopter game on this thund Thunderhawk or to, I don't know. Um, yeah, chill, you're dead, but uh, you know, listen. Yeah, but they're pretty decent sprites. You know what, this is... It's, it's removed my control. I can't roll. I can only do this. I guess that's for this stage because it's... That's a bit... Plants? Is that to do with the limitations of the uh, the hardware and the Mega CD? I don't know. But this is a pretty decent port of the arcade. I would have been well chuffed with this if I'd known what the arcade was. I'd just been chuffed with this because it's Afterburner 3, isn't it? And that's what I guess it's going on. So yeah, I can't rotate. I can only go from left to right and up to down. Top to bottom to left to right. And again, point to that coil. Oh, now I can go back. Does that mean it's because the stage is finished? That's a bit pants restricting you like that, but I do understand why. A little bit more going on in my face, Rockets, on the floor right now, but it's still nothing to the arcade. So anyway, let's round up. I would have liked this back in the day. I would have liked it because I thought I was basically playing the evolution of Afterburner 3 with a nod of G-Lock in it. But if I'd known what Strike Fighter was, as an arcade port, I would have said, do you know what? I mean, it's a reasonable facsimile of the arcade based on the limitations of the hardware. However, other me would have said back in the day, in 1992, I would have expected a little bit more. Hmm, I'm not sure really how much of a roundup that is, but yeah, you know, it's a decent port. It's a decent conversion, even if it pretends to be something else. As always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.